What is the significance of playing both judo and sumo in your efforts to drive uh, your organization? So the fourth rule of uh, strategy rules is that y you can't only be good at the high level strategy if you want to be a great success. You also have to be good at the tactics. And tactics sometimes require that you be clever and you do things that uh, are under the radar screen or take advantage of your competitor's strengths, which we call judo tactics. And sometimes when you're large and you're powerful, you have to exert power and use your power and not be afraid to do it which is what we call sumo tactics. And so, you know, think about a couple of great examples that were very important to the building of uh, the businesses that we describe. Think about the question of why did uh, Apple get all of the music from all of the music labels mm -hmm. to sign up with iTunes? Today, I would bet 100% of them regret ever having done this, <laughs> right? <laughs> it was a decision in retrospect that looks crazy. But at the time, Steve Jobs played the classic, what we call puppy dog ploy. Mm. He played the puppy dog, which was, he was trying to look weak and inoffensive so that the, the potential customers in this case, the music labels, would be willing to take a risk. Mm. So he went to the music labels and said, we're only 3% of the entire computer market, which was true. So what do you have to lose? Mm. Why not take a risk? At the time, you have to remember, music was being pirated broadly with Napster. And so this looked like a very low risk, 3% of the market. How much could you potentially uh, give up if you go down this route? And that was a fantastic example of a puppy dog ploy. Mm -hmm. At the same time, all three of these, these uh, strategists were very tough, maybe even ruthless, when they got to be very big. And I think if you're going to become one of the most successful companies in the world, you have to be tough when you get to that position in the marketplace. Uh, there's a wonderful quote from, from Bill Gates where he, he told Steve Case at AOL in the early 1990s, um, I can bu buy 20% of you and work with you, I can buy all of you, or I can go into the business myself and kill you. And that's the kind of approach that all three of them tended to take as they got big and strong. The people close to Steve Jobs used to say that he never would leave a nickel on the table. Mm. He did not believe in win-win. It was never win-win. It was Apple wins and you lose. Mm. And so if there was even a nickel on the table, he'd tell people to go back and get the nickel. 